what we're going to do is set up a foundation plan view here. Let's go into our level one. And what we're going to do is I'm going to right click for level one. And we'll say duplicate view, duplicate. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to go in and change. Notice we don't have anything selected in here. We're going to change the view range of this view here. And by the way, maybe we should rename this real quick. We'll call this foundation plan. And inside the foundation plan, plan its view range is going to be changed. The cut plane is going to be negative 10 inches. The top is going to be zero. And the bottom, let's just make that um, negative two feet or so. And the view depth, oh, we'll just say level below. Now we can't see anything in here, and we need to see our level one. So what we can do is go back into our view here. And what we're going to do is find the underlay and make that to be level one. So we can see our level one as an underlay, and we can now use our foundation wall. Let's go into wall, and we're already in stacked wall foundation system, and we'll draw on our wall here. And you can see that we're not quite lined up here. Instead of the wall center line, let's do wall finish face exterior. And that's not going to work either. I mean, we could make that work. Let's do finish face exterior, and what we'll do is give it an offset of 8 inches. There we go. And we're just going to cruise around our building here. Go on back up to where we started and complete our wall. On 3D, should be able to see our new foundation wall here. So there's that wall, this wall, they coincide right at zero feet there. So that's how we can add our foundation wall to our model here. Now what we could do in here is go back into our foundation system and go down and turn off our underlay. Instead of level one, we're going to set it to be none. And in the next video we'll talk about changing these lines in here and how to dimension.